Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and this is a quick look at the officially installed on a PC, uh, real PC functioning with uh, Core i5 processor, 8 gigs of RAM, a uh, 256 gigabyte SSD. It's a small um, box, a small B-Link uh, PC. It's really just a little uh, black square, basically, you wanted to have something small. Here's uh, what it looks like. This is one of the wallpapers that I've actually put from the Windows uh, 11 operating system. And this is what it looks like. It is uh, running in dark mode with the rounded edges that we see here. And um, lots of interesting stuff that uh, is happening here when you look at that. Uh, of course, the uh, start menu. One trick, guys, is that if you don't like the start menu the way it is, in the taskbar settings, you can actually, um, if you want, uh, change the uh, the uh, positioning of the uh, the the area and the buttons. Apparently, so uh, you'll be able to uh, actually put the uh, the start menu on the left side if you want which will totally look like Windows 10 if you want. So these are some of the possibilities. Uh, so taskbar alignment, you just put left, and here you go. This looks like Windows 10 now, pretty much, with, with new icons. And of course, you can change the look of this also. Instead of having that list, you can click All Apps, and it brings back a feel of what you had. Now, one of the things that is interesting is, of course, a lot of you have been talking about tiles and laugh tiles. There doesn't seem to be some for now, so uh, depending on how you want to have it, uh, you'll be able to uh, to check that out. But uh, you have the choice of center, left, and so depending on how you're going to want to do things. Uh, dark mode, as you see here, with uh, pretty much all the options. Uh, not much changes from what I see also in the different uh, settings here. Of course, you have the notifications area. Buttons are, are rounded, different buttons, as you see here, now all rounded. So they are different, slightly different from what they looked before. Um, and um, kind of interesting to see what uh, it's all about. So taskbar settings brings you here to the settings app. Um, different types of features. So here you have widgets. This will be something new, I guess. Right now, the widgets is the news and uh, interest widget, as you see here. But it seems that widgets will be uh, there. You guys remember in Windows Vista, I believe, uh, that was one feature that I actually liked of Windows Vista. You had desktop widgets that you could add. And there was a panel where you could add the different widgets. Um, and I remember having the weather on the screen somewhere. And um, that was pretty much only Windows Vista, if I remember well. So maybe having widgets could be nice. Right now, like I said, it's news and interest. So that's something new also uh, coming up. Uh, apart from that, look, all my apps seem to be running and seem to be running well. It's funny because since I've been using it, I have this uh, bad habit of going to the left side for the start menu when in reality it's just here in the center. But I don't want to change it. I want to kind of work with the operating system in that way. Um, and for those that are asking what I did, so like I said, I'm not sharing links and I don't want anyone to share any links. But um, so for those that are adventurous and that found the uh, image, and can't install it because it says it's not compatible. In this case, on this PC, the incompatibility was that it searched for the TPM 2.0 chip. This PC has a TPM 1.2 chip, and it didn't want to go forward. And it's a security feature, so I don't know if they're going to enable that to be like that. Um, what I did is that a few of you have actually commented on this. In the image, when you have the image of the Windows 11 install, there's a file that is actually um, 
is appraiser, or it's like A P P R A I S E R R E S dot D L L. That file checks for the compatibility of the TPM chip. The one in the image checks for 2.0 compatibility. There is one that you can download on the web that actually changes that possibility of check for TPM 2.0. I believe that one checks for TPM 1.2 instead. So when you actually replace that file, the appraiserres.dll file, with the file that I actually got from a link, it suddenly goes through. It says, yeah, okay, your PC is compatible. That's what I did. Um, but I don't want to go into too much details. This is not a, you know, a group for that type of thing. And I rather uh, just like, you know, play it safe, uh, like I said. So uh, that's what it looks like on my uh, on my on PC now. It's an officially installed. It actually active, <coughs> sorry, activated with the uh, upgrade. I just upgrade. From here, I click the setup, it upgraded. It didn't take a lot of time. It took maybe, I'd say 45 minutes to 50 minutes for a complete upgrade. And it was in Windows 11, and it uh, is activated with the key that was on uh, this machine, because this one had, of course, a key um, for a pro version. So um, this is uh, kind of cool and uh, works. It's uh, it's activated and everything, so um, works great. So I'll be continuing my observations, and of course now that it's on this PC, which I used quite a lot, um, this is going to be uh, there's going to be a lot of testing going going on, and any personal observations, any things that uh, I see, I will post a video about. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.